The SR-72 is widely regarded as America's most classified and advanced aircraft. Initially developed as a successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, it has evolved far beyond its original reconnaissance role. Today, the SR-72 not only serves as a high-speed reconnaissance platform, but is also designed to carry and launch hypersonic missiles capable of reaching anywhere on Earth in under an hour. This aircraft is poised to revolutionize modern warfare by delivering precision strikes deep behind enemy lines, faster than any other aircraft in history. The SR-72, a new era of hypersonic warfare. The SR-72 is part of a broader strategy to adapt to emerging threats from global adversaries. Imagine a scenario where war erupts in the Pacific. In such a scenario, the SR-72 could be used to strike critical targets such as anti-air defense systems or mobile missile platforms located deep behind enemy lines. The aircraft's ability to deliver hypersonic missiles rapidly and with pinpoint precision makes it an invaluable asset in modern warfare. Developed since 2006, the SR-72 was first publicly revealed in 2013 by Lockheed Martin. The announcement generated enormous interest and excitement within the aviation community, drawing attention from both military strategists and tech enthusiasts alike. The aircraft was presented as a direct successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, which was renowned for its high-speed reconnaissance capabilities. However, the SR-72 took this concept much further incorporating hypersonic technology that allows it to fly faster and further than any plane before it. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works and the SR-72's development. The SR-72 is being developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works team, known for designing cutting-edge, high-performance aircraft. The team initially envisioned the SR-72 as a reconnaissance platform that would carry forward the Blackbird's impressive capabilities, such as its speed and stealth. However, as the development process advanced, the aircraft's mission evolved to include launching hypersonic missiles, solidifying its role as a game-changing weapon in the future of warfare. Skunk Works is known for its secrecy, but the SR-72 project has been an exception. During its early stages, the team even provided rare interviews, sharing exciting details about the aircraft's capabilities. This openness was uncharacteristic for such a high-profile program and it sparked a flurry of interest in aviation circles. In fact, when the SR-72 was first announced, Aviation Week's website crashed under the weight of eager visitors seeking more information about the aircraft. The SR-72's revolutionary hypersonic missiles. One of the most striking features of the SR-72 is its ability to carry hypersonic weapons. These missiles are designed to travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, allowing them to bypass even the most advanced air defense systems. The SR-72 can strike targets at distances far beyond the reach of conventional aircraft, making it a valuable asset in both offensive and defensive operations. Unlike traditional missiles that rely on warheads for impact, the SR-72's hypersonic weapons use kinetic energy to deliver devastating strikes. This concept is similar to how a fast-moving meteor can cause significant destruction without the need for explosive warheads. The sheer speed of the SR-72's missiles ensures that it can hit targets with incredible precision, making it a force multiplier in any conflict. The technology behind the SR-72's speed-achieving hypersonic speeds presents significant engineering challenges, especially when considering the need for an engine capable of sustaining such extreme velocities. Traditional jet engines begin to lose efficiency at speeds above Mach 3, and conventional ramjets are only effective in a narrow range between Mach 3 and Mach 5. To overcome this, the SR-72 uses a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC engine, which combines the best features of both turbine engines and ramjets. The TBCC engine works by using a turbine engine for takeoff and initial acceleration. Once the aircraft reaches Mach 3, the engine switches to a ramjet mode to achieve higher speeds. This design is crucial for the SR-72's ability to reach hypersonic velocities. To push beyond Mach 5 and reach speeds of Mach 6, a scramjet engine is needed. Scramjet technology, which operates by compressing air as it enters the engine, is a key component in the SR-72's design. 
Scramjets have been tested in experimental aircraft like NASA's X-43, which set the speed record of Mach 9.6 in 2004. However, achieving these speeds under the aircraft's own power is a complex challenge. Lockheed Martin's engineers have been working with advanced materials and new manufacturing techniques to build an engine capable of pushing the SR-72 beyond the Mach 6 threshold. The unmanned design, strategic advantages. One of the most significant aspects of the SR-72's design is that it is unmanned. This decision reduces the size and weight of the aircraft, allowing it to be more agile and capable of reaching higher speeds. In addition, by eliminating the need for a pilot, the SR-72 can operate in extreme conditions that would be dangerous for human operators, such as flying at the edge of space. The SR-72's unmanned design also has strategic benefits. Pilots are a valuable resource, and in high-risk situations, it is preferable to preserve human life rather than expose it to unnecessary danger. By removing the pilot, the aircraft can be used in scenarios where the risk of loss is high without losing valuable personnel. This is especially important in a prolonged conflict where the loss of multiple aircraft and skilled pilots could significantly impact a nation's defense capabilities. The SR-72's role in future warfare. In an era where traditional stealth technology is increasingly being countered by advanced radar systems, the SR-72 offers a new form of defense, speed. The aircraft's extraordinary velocity ensures that it can outrun even the most advanced radar detection systems, making it nearly impossible for enemies to intercept or destroy. This makes the SR-72 a vital tool for bypassing air defenses and delivering weapons quickly and with minimal risk. The SR-72 also has significant implications for the way wars are fought. Traditional warfare often requires months of preparation and positioning of assets before an attack can take place. In contrast, the SR-72 can deliver a precise strike almost immediately without the need for pre-positioned forces. This speed is particularly useful in rapidly changing situations, where time is of the essence and any delay could result in a strategic disadvantage. The SR-72's strategic deterrence and global impact. Beyond its military applications, the SR-72 also serves a strategic role in global geopolitics. As adversarial nations such as Russia, China, and North Korea develop their own hypersonic missile capabilities, the SR-72 acts as a powerful countermeasure. Through controlled leaks and strategic revelations, the U.S. Air Force can send a clear message to its rivals that it possesses a hypersonic aircraft capable of delivering weapons anywhere in the world in a matter of minutes. This serves not only as a military asset, but also as a tool for deterrence. The mere existence of the SR-72 forces potential adversaries to reconsider their military strategies and adjust their defense plans accordingly. It is a reminder that the U.S. is leading the charge in hypersonic technologies and that any attempt to challenge its dominance in this field will be met with a powerful response. Is the SR-72 ready for service? While the SR-72 has garnered significant attention, its future remains uncertain. There have been reports of the aircraft being in the final stages of development, with some credible sightings of prototypes near Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility. However, the U.S. Air Force has not officially confirmed whether the SR-72 will ever enter service. The project's funding and long-term viability remain shrouded in secrecy, with some speculating that it could be canceled at any time. Despite these uncertainties, the SR-72's potential is undeniable. Its ability to combine extreme speed, hypersonic missile delivery, and unmanned operation makes it one of the most advanced aircraft in development today. Whether or not it ever sees active duty, the SR-72 represents the future of warfare, one in which speed, stealth, and precision strikes redefine the battlefield. Conclusion The SR-72's Legacy The SR-72 stands at the forefront of military aviation, offering unprecedented speed and capabilities that will shape the future of warfare. While its full potential remains a mystery, the information available thus far points to a game-changing aircraft capable of overcoming modern defense systems and delivering powerful strikes anywhere on the globe. Whether it ultimately enters active service or remains an experimental project, the SR-72's influence on military technology and strategy is sure to be profound. 
Its existence is a testament to the continued innovation of the U.S. military and its commitment to staying ahead in the ever-evolving world of defense technology.